from a woman who almost killed a cop by crashing into his cruiser. I'm sorry. Own up to it. Okay, I will, but I, I thought they'd pull over on the side. To a cop almost getting hit during a traffic stop by a violent car crash. Here are six cases where routine traffic stops went horribly wrong. Body cam footage shows the moment when a cop who was conducting a routine traffic stop was almost hit by an incoming vehicle, which crashed the vehicle of both the cop and the man he was doing a traffic stop on. Here is a slowed version of the footage, which shows the cop's first instinct and how he managed to get away from the dangerous crash that he could have lost his life in. It is unclear what happened to the man inside the crashed vehicle, but the cop could be heard calling for backup and checking up on him. If this was a dangerous situation, the next one only gets worse when in a shocking and disturbing incident, Monroe County deputies conducted a traffic stop that they won't soon forget. The suspect, identified as Florida man Walker Camp, was pulled over by law enforcement, but what followed was a barrage of horrifying threats and verbal abuse directed towards the officers. Well, I'm stopping you for passing in and no passing. Was there any reason for that? Uh, the guy cut me off. That guy cut you off? Yes. Okay. When was that? Right before I did that. Right before you passed him? Yes. Where are you heading to now? Key West. Uh, where are you coming from? Washington. Is this your car? It's a rental. That's a rental car? Do you have the rental agreement? Yes. Can I see it? How much have you had a drink? None. None? None. Not that big Bud Light right there? That has been sitting there since last night. Okay. How much have you had a drink today? None. Okay. This is my rental agreement right here. Okay, perfect. Why don't you step out of the car, come back to my car. We'll talk back in my car. Step out of the car. First see that. Okay, I got it. Let's step out of the car. We'll go back and talk in my car. Okay. But when he gets out of the vehicle, Camp makes a shocking move pulling down his pants right in front of the deputy. You don't have any weapons on here or anything? No. You mind just lifting your shirt up? Not like that. That's perfect. Come on back here. Here, I'll take my pants off. No, no. I don't want you to take your pants off. I, I don't have that. no weapons. The deputy breezes past Camp's quick flashing and moves on instead to the smell of alcohol coming from his breath. Here's the deal. What's the deal? I can smell a heavy odor of alcohol coming from you when you, when, when you talk. So uh, oh, the odor of the alcoholic beverage, not alcohol itself. Um, from last night. Okay. Your eyes are bloodshot and glassy. Uh, from last night. Okay. Your eyes are bloodshot and glassy. Yes, sir. You're slurring your words. No, I'm not. You are 100%. No, I'm not. Okay. That's fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. So here's what I'm going to ask. Okay. Uh, would you be willing to participate in some voluntary field sobriety exercises? I would not. Okay. You don't want to... Uh, Why not? Why not? Why? Why would... Why? Why what? Why would I participate? Uh, well, I'm requesting you to. I'm not going to request that, no. Okay, I don't need you to request it. I'm okay, asking there you, you would you be willing to participate no. in voluntary field sobriety exercises? No. To dispel my belief, you're operating that motor vehicle That's while right. you're under the influence of no, the alcohol not. beverage. Okay. Well, I believe you are. Well, there you go. So my training, through my training experience. Well, th that's your training. And experience. Okay. I've been doing this a long time. Okay. When he refused to give the field sobriety test, the cop decided to arrest the man. I'm going to ask you again. Yes, sir. Would you be willing to no. participate in voluntary field sobriety no. exercises? Okay, turn around for me. Yes, sir. Put your hands behind your back. Yes, sir. I might be placed under arrest. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, don't step it up. Might be, but yes, you're under arrest for DUI. 
Throughout the entire process, from the initial arrest and booking, Camp can be heard on body camera footage, making countless threats to rape and kill the sheriff's deputies, as well as their family members. Oh no, you gotta stand right here for now. Right now. I mean, you can say hey, There you go. He said he said I could do that. Your partner said I could do that. All right, now, now, let, now let's be nice. Now. Okay, yeah, you gotta get, get it out. Now, now we're gonna be nice, right, Walter? I'm gonna be nice. The commander is gonna f your pension and f your woman up and f your pants and house up and f you up, Moody. Rudy. Moody, no, put my phone back in the wax. Thank you very much. You understand that you're gonna You understand? Put the phone back. He's trying to help you, Walter. He's a you're nice. He's oh. a oh. good black belt. I can kick his ass with these later. Okay. And his dog. Okay. And his and his women and his kids probably. I might even his kids. <laughs> when it's all done. It's weird, but what the He's weird, so I'm I must get weird. As weird as he is, John, I'm gonna his kids. <laughs> How are you gonna do that? Well, we'll see how that goes. Okay. <laughs> hey, you got, any, you got any females in your family? <laughs> Does he have females? I'm not sure. Well, yeah. I'll his kid too. Okay. Maybe of course. Or if I don't do it, I'll have somebody else him in the ass when he's at high school. Or whatever he's at, college being. Okay. Yeah. This is not over, John. What if it's like an eight-year-old? Well, I don't care. Oh, damn. Well, I didn't get cuffed by an eight-year-old. Okay. But an eight-year-old can get can he, can, can't they, John? Can't I'm they? not sure, I man. I think so. I think so. It's kind of a weird thing to think about, though, to be well, honest, Walter. Well, not really. Well, I don't hear it is. Well, he just me, so I'm going to his kids. Probably shouldn't do Upon searching Camp's vehicle, deputies discovered open cans of Bud Light beer and evidence of burnt marijuana, providing additional context to his erratic and hostile behavior. The level of aggression displayed by Camp during the encounter left the officer stunned. If he, anything comes out of that car, I'll kill him too. Okay, well that's I'll not I'll tell you right nice. now on camera, I will kill that Walter, well, you gotta stay back, man. There you go, man. I don't like it when people get close to me. Well, yeah, I'm just trying to tell you. Okay. I like my personal space, you know? I, but it's a good thing because I can kick you in the face right now. Okay. Well, you probably shouldn't do that. Well, I, I'm a fourth degree black belt. A fourth degree black belt? I can put my foot above your head. Wow, that's pretty agile, man. Don't piss me off. I'm saying I couldn't do that. Well, I I'm can't. So I'm almost 30 years old and I'm I can 67 years old. I can barely I can sit down without my back right popping. I can kick your ass and him too and we'll drive off, but I will not do that. Okay. Well, I appreciate that, Walter. I, well, I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt. Okay. Well, thank you. And I can kill that dog too. Okay. He is then brought to the police station where he continues to act belligerent. So I know you're armed. So I will take you down and kill you before you can pull your fire. Before you can pull your firearm, you will be dead. You understand me? There you go. Before you can, before you can pull your firearm, you will be dead. Thank you. There you go. I'm pretty fast. Well, from 1,500 yards, see how fast you can be from 1,500 yards with a bullet right in your head. <laughs> this man was indeed quite vile and treated the officers in the most horrible way, but eventually did get what he deserved, jail time. The next case gets even more shocking when a man who had been wanted in Atlanta for murder was eventually caught. He was pulled over for a suspended driver's license and was arrested, but he kept acting like a victim throughout the arrest, telling the cop he has to take care of his 80-year-old grandma but the cops went on doing their job. It's gonna happen, Sakeem, okay? Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to place you in the custody today, okay? You're gonna have to go down to jail. 
Oh no. You gotta get booked in, I gotta take your fingerprints and picture and you'll get a bond. But because you're driving on a suspended license, you gotta go to Amazon. Sir, I did not know. I have children, I have a sick uncle, and I run the household. I got you. No, I really we don't. We don't have a choice at this put, time. So please we're placing you in arrest. Go ahead and turn around. Put your hands behind your back, please. Please put, put your hands behind your back. Who set the phone up on the car? They put me under arrest right now. They, I don't know. For driving with suspended license. Driving with suspended license. I didn't know. And, 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 it's, and it's not even showing. Unfortunately, the law is different here in Georgia than it is in South Carolina. If you have a suspended license, you have to go down to the jail and get booked in. Okay, but, but sir, can you speak to my aunt? She has to, we're, we're on speakerphone. She can okay, hear us right now. Yeah. No, please speak to her. Yeah. Please, please speak to her. I'm the only one that can help with my uncle that's sick in ICU right now. Sorry about that. Unfortunately, we're stuck. Please, sir. You're driving please. a car without valid insurance. My son. Are we yeah, got, you got that yes. taken care of. Got you're already son. driving a car without valid insurance. I won't drive. Registration. My cousin. can't trust my, to drive to drive. No, I swear to you, I'll walk away from my car. So we're going to walk you back to this please. other car. Please, sir. sir. So we're gonna walk you to my car. Come on, come on. sir. Come on. Please, my aunt is old. She's 80 years old. Sir, please. Do you have anything I, on I you? I will not. I swear, you can, please check me. Okay. Please check Call everything us. on me. I'm gonna search you and send you to arrest. Huh? See what says emergency 911? Yeah. Face towards that for me. Okay, sir. Separate your feet out okay, for me a little bit. Yeah. Nothing in your pockets, sir, right? Sir, please. please. What all do you need out of your pocket? Sir, I have a child at the house that they cannot take care of. I what all do you need? tried his best to get out of the situation and told the officers how hard his life is to gain sympathy. But that wasn't going to work on these officers. I don't have a choice here, man. I'm telling you. That's, I, that's I told you, job. I was not going to get in my car. I swear to you, I wasn't going to get in my car. You have a suspended license. You're driving a car without insurance. You've got that taken care of. I've been doing it every you day. you suspended registration. <laughs> you so you have to go down to the jail and get booked in. Just take your photograph. They're going to take your fingerprints, they'll give you a bond amount, and you can bond out, and then you can get on the way up to the hospital, but you can't drive. Sir, I... I so have a seat for okay, me, please. Okay, okay, may I speak after you? Have a seat for me, please. Are you going to... Sit down, and then I'll listen to you. Okay, so what do you, what do you want to tell me? On, on everything, my aunt just had a stroke. My uncle just had a stroke two and a half weeks ago. Yeah. I'm here helping my family. No, I don't even know who can come and bond me out. I don't even know who can come and bond me out. I'm not a criminal. I'm not a crook. I'm. If you, I look I mean, how old you, I did am. Did you get a ticket or something? I didn't did get they it. Take care of. I, I don't. Mean, why would they suspend your license in South Carolina? That's, I just found out speaking to the deputy. Yeah. I just found out that maybe when we had a car that I had to got repossessed that yeah. I didn't take my name off of it. Okay. Um, I, mean, I wouldn't imagine that they'd suspend you for a repossession. But that's what I'm saying. I did. I don't. But but it's no no information is coming up. I won't drive. I will, I'll have my cousin. Can you slide your lights in for us? You're not going to speak to me. No, unfortunately, I told you. I've already explained my position. To oh, you. this hurts. I don't have a choice. During the drive, the officer told him that they have to do it since it is their responsibility, and he kept acting like a victim who had so much on his shoulders. You just have to go by what the law states, okay? But I'm not even. I don't even let you can hear my song and my tone. Yeah, absolutely. And I and I and I I believe you. I believe you are helping your family. But I I have at the end of the day I have a job I have to do. And I appreciate you being cooperative, okay? I'm afraid because my my uncle is in the ICU and I'm the only one that goes and checks him. Okay. I'm the only one that's in my house. I take care of my thirteen year old son there, my cousin who is sixty years old. Her mother was 80 years old. I do all the runs for the house. I do all the cooking. I do all the cleaning. I don't even know how my cousin who's visiting because her father's in the hospital. She's in New York. She lives there. It's going to get to the place to find me. Soon, his fake act would fall, and he would end up getting formally charged for the murder. The next case involves two murder suspects who were arrested in a wild foot chase at a Walmart store. If this case came across as twisted, the next one on our list is sure to shake your senses. It involves a polygamist prophet, Samuel Bateman, and three of his wives who are facing federal kidnapping charges after they were caught traveling with underage girls in Flagstaff, Arizona in August. The FBI alleges Bateman is running a polyamorous cult, having at least 20 wives to himself. Bateman was arrested in Arizona after authorities discovered three underage girls traveling in a squalid trailer attached to the fundamentalist church leader's pickup truck. 
why children are being transported in a vehicle. We're getting calls about uh, hands sticking out of a vehicle, out of the trailer. Uh, so that is why we're contacting you guys, because it is unsafe for children to be riding in a trailer. When the cops searched for his trailer, they found something shocking. When Bateman was asked to follow the police orders, he refused and was arrested to be taken to the police station for further proceedings. Samuel what? Do I have to tell you my name? I'm asking for your name. Yeah, I don't have to pay, do I? Sir. Yes, sir. What is your name? Samuel. Samuel what? See the driver? Yeah. Okay, you have to identify yourself. You understand that, right? I don't know. I'm just wondering. Yeah, Samuel Bateman. Samuel Bateman. I don't understand. But he, he did it. Trying to Samuel, I, I just got here. Explain to me what's going on. Calm down first. I am calm. You're being videoed. Yeah. 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 yeah, you're being videoed as well. Okay. okay. Um. He was later arrested and eventually charged on the state and federal levels. Hey, Samuel, so you're under arrest for a day, okay? Um, you're going to go to the Pocomino County Jail right down the street here in Flagstaff. Right. I'm all just right now, I'm not going to say anything. Okay. The cop then informs his followers that he is being detained for the investigation process. At this point, he's detained right now. I don't know. Okay, I understand that, but like he said, once we do our investigation, we can... After he was brought to the police station and taken under custody, his case went on trial, and he pleaded not guilty to federal kidnapping and tampering with evidence charges. Moving on to our next case, when an Ohio police officer dodges a driver suspected of DUI as she crashes into his parked cruiser while he was attending to a separate rollover crash on December 11th. At this point, he's detained right now. I don't know. Okay, I understand that, but like he said, once we do our investigation, we can. As the cop approached the vehicle that crashed into his cruiser, he found a female driver who they would later find was drunk over the legal limit. All right, we got another multiple vehicle accident. We need assistance up here, Cleveland. Limit. You all right? Is it just you in the car? Front car. Uh, passenger is unresponsive. She's highly intoxicated, apparently. And then I have a male trapped in the truck. You're trapped in the truck? I can't. The Bratton Hall Police Department said 23-year-old Anita Locke blamed officers for the collision because they were parked on the highway. Locke was arrested after allegedly blowing over twice the legal limit and is due to appear in court on December 20th. Authorities said the officers on the scene were not injured and four adults involved in the collision were treated for non-life-threatening injuries at nearby hospitals. So what are your thoughts on these dangerous situations? Comment down below and subscribe for more content like this.